I think that making photographs is an act of thinking. Like walking around with a camera is an actual like thinking process. It's very intuitive, but it's like an active brain activity. And Avoid glancing blows actually is a statement. It's kind of found language. About a year and a half ago, my wife and I bought this property. When we bought the house, my dad gave me a hammer as um, a gift. And it just said avoid glancing blows on the hammer. So I got really interested in the, the duality between like a notion of correctness with tools um, and a kind of like bluntness or a directness and like an idea around looking that has to do with lack of attention or intention. The choice to have certain images have this sort of framed negative space was a choice that came out of a different set of decisions. There are floor works in the show that have um, images of uh, legs treading water and they're taken from underwater. And those images have a second frame that mimics the exact shape of the frame around the image, but it's kicked out and it's supporting the front side of the image. Thinking a lot about the knees as like a joint that becomes like a rotation off of which the water and the body have to constantly be in relationship. Um, or I'm always thinking performatively about like the language or the explanatory in different methods of survival versus what it feels like to actually do something or a kind of bodily response like or an anxiety response like kind of very biological responses to moments of high stress versus the kind of like written language that explains very simple um, things that you can do to kind of protect yourself or shield yourself or behave um, and so most of those images are made of legs sort of treading water and I was also reading different instructions on like different ways to tread water so that you use basically the least amount of energy. For me, part of what I was thinking about in this show is like finding shapes or finding things that exist at different scales and using images of both of those scales, like bringing those images in the image of the two crowbars that almost seem as if they're hands and like one is on the shoulder of the other and the treads that are part of this tremendous wheelbase are the same exact shape. They're all these hinged shapes and each hinge is sort of like hinged on the one in front of it and the assumption is that the machine has the capacity to pull all of these hinges forward and continuously rotate the like treads on this tire and that those treads are capable of essentially flattening anything. So I became interested in different ways where like a certain shape could evoke a kind of human capacity or a tenderness. Um, when it's scaled up, it becomes something so destructive about imagining the ability to flatten. Like I think as a photographer, it's like the most destructive thing.